The disturbing murder of former National Museum curator Claire Broadbridge has shocked and angered many across the country, none more so than her son environmentalist Stephen Broadbridge, who has called on the public to stop hiding behind their worded criticism of crime, the police and the government. Peter Christopher went to the crime scene with cameraman Ricky Gokul and tells us more about Mr. Broadbridge's appeal. We're going to have to start, um, excuse the term, grow some balls and start dealing with the criminals and start dealing with the politicians and start dealing with the police and everybody. But until then, just wait and you'll see your relatives dying. The impassioned plea of Mr. Stephen Broadbridge, son of murder victim Claire Broadbridge, on Sunday. Mr. Broadbridge told C News that he was out at Brassaseco when he got the startling call that his mother, the former director of the National Museum, had been murdered. She was found in her bedroom at her Fonzaman St. Anne's home with her throat cut. Downstairs, furniture had been lit on fire, suggesting that her killer may have attempted to burn the house down after killing her. The motive for the killing was unclear, but her son believed it could be someone she recently hired to do work around the house. Personally, I feel that um, it could have been somebody that was working there because the time that it happened was sort of like the time when you pay people. Maybe uh, somebody was uh, upset about payment or something. Um, and I don't think robbery was the motive because I don't see things missing. Mrs. Broadbridge had been curator of the National Museum for several years. Her son recalled that she struggled to bring the museum up to standard in the face of local politicians giving her little support. He recalled a clash over the Tennis Association's intrusion on the museum's property. He said she had not received an apology for that clash to this day, a reminder that much of her work at the museum went unappreciated. She sorted out a disaster of a museum and made it into a, a working um, model without, without much support at all and a lot of, uh, a lot of um, sabotage from politicians. So she had a very difficult time and, and she was bitter for it and you know, at her retirement she was very bitter and I don't think there's much mention of her, in the, in, of her work in the museum but she really did her best for the museum. The Broadbridge however felt let down by some comments following his mother's death and the common refrain that the country had gone to the dogs and it was best to leave. He instead made this statement. You don't think the police are doing a good job? You tell them and you make fuss and you force people to do a good job. And if the politicians are not dealing with crime properly, you force them to deal with crime. You don't vote for politicians because you like their party. You vote for them because they're doing their job. And if they're not doing their job, you demand they do their job or you vote them out. Until they start, until the country, the mentality of the people in the country change, the crime is just going to continue to get worse. On Sunday, investigators spent several hours in St. Anne's combing the crime scene. Mr. Broadbridge hopes security cameras along the streets give clues as to who killed his mother and bring justice to his family. Peter Christopher, C News. Meanwhile, leader of the Movement for Social Justice, David Abdullah, has expressed condolences to the family and friends of the former director of the National Museum and Art Gallery, Dr. Claire Broadbridge. The 80-year-old woman was found brutally murdered at her St. Anne's home on Saturday. Mr. Abdullah reminisced on time spent with Dr. Broadbridge while working on a project. We regret the, her passing. Um, she made an important contribution to Trinidad and Tobago. I recall myself when I was the head of the Education and Research Department of the Union, Audrey Workers Trade Union, quite some years ago, collaborating with her and our then librarian um, to work on an exhibit uh, for the museum on the history of the oil industry and of labor's contribution to the oil industry, um, which was an important exhibit at the National Museum.